Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill from the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're at beautiful St. Ray Ridge Golf Club in Claremont, Florida. My great friend Kyle. Good to see you, bud. You too, man. Hey, before we get started here, make sure you hit that subscription button, that like button, and comment button below. Our channel has been exploding mm -hmm. lately, and I'm sure you're going to love this video. Yeah, this it's is going to be a good one. This here. is going to be really good. Uh, we, what we have in store for you today is we're going to do a product review, a Swing Caddy SC300 versus the Flight Scope Mevo. Yeah, comparison. Comparison. They're both about the same price point, around yep. the $500 mark, and there's some different functionalities with each one. Both are great products, but we're just going to display to you, you know, how they work, and then you can make your choice of which one you like. I mean, we, it's, we've had a lot of questions about which one we get between specifically these two models, so it's going to be really interesting to see how they stack up against each other and the advantages and disadvantages that they have. So it's going to be really good. What shots are we going to hit, Neil? We're going to hit a lob wedge, mm -hmm. 40 yards. The reason we picked that, Kyle, was we want to hit that in-between wedge shot. We noticed that, you know, you know, in previous models of a little bit less expensive launch monitors, they did not do good yeah. readings with little wedge shots. No, not at all. So we want to make sure these give an accurate reading of that. I want you to see that at home. And then we're going to do a couple six irons. Yep. And then we're going to do a couple of drivers. Just and, because uh, they're so fun to hit. So yeah, Exactly. So let's get this thing started. All right, Kyle, I'm going to hit my, uh, my lob wedge here. We're going to try to hit a 40 yard shot. We yeah. shot the pin. It's exactly 40 exactly yards from 40 here. Yards, so. so you're going to see in the screen at the bottom left hand and right hand corner, mm -hmm. you're going to see the data for the SC300 and also for the, for the, for the flight scope Mevo. Mm -hmm. So, and also you're going to hear it. You're going to be able to hear it. We got the settings for the hot, so you should be able to hear it on the recording here. Well, we'll see which one is so yeah. We'll see which is the most accurate. Yep. So I heard 40 Point four. on the Mevo. Yep and 36. So again, the, the Mevo is showing it going a little far. Now, how far do you think you hit that one? Well, now? it landed dead even with the 40-yard flag. Right, so, so that was pretty accurate on yeah. the Mevo's part. All yep. right, a little off on the swing caddy, but Just not too bad. Just a little bit, not bad though. Okay. So 38 yards, yeah, and I think 42 or 43 on the Mevo. Yeah, it was kind of in between, so okay. it was like really about, it landed right at 39, it was about a yard short of the fly, okay. not right. 43, so it's pretty good for pretty, both of them. Pretty accurate, all yeah. right, let's see how I can do. All right, folks, now it's my turn to hit the 60, so something I want to point out real quick to make sure that you do is please make sure you set both your Mevo and your swing caddy to the correct club, because you don't want to accidentally hit a driver when you're hitting 60s, exactly. and, and it comes off a little, little off, yeah, so let's see here. And one of the things is so you can set it up on the app with both, and you also can do the remote with, with the uh, Swing Caddy SC300, which is different than. Which is definitely different. Yep. And also with the Swing Caddy, as some of you might have known from our previous video, is that you will see a display on the uh, Swing Caddy, which is, I would say, a little bit of an advantage. Who pulled that one. Woo! That's right. Yeah, that was right, because I... Uh, so 53. So it's those Wheaties in the morning there, Neil. <laughs> but that was, they both 53 on the Mevo, 50 on the uh, SC 300. So, all right. I think there should be a new upgrade to the app where it says, good Lord, that was long. Or <laughs> maybe something a little bit more offensive. So let's see if I can hit this a little bit shorter. About 28. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so pretty that's... spot on. So I don't know if you guys heard it, but... I definitely uh, split the difference. Those are good shots. Yeah, those so. are good, but that was accurate reading. So that, I would definitely that say accurate reading. So on to the six irons. Okay. All right, Kyle, we're going to hit these six irons. Mm -hmm. Hit a couple. I usually I hit about 175, 180. Okay. Uh, so. Tell them how we got this set up here. So well, we know. have both the swing caddy and the Mevo about five to six feet behind the ball. Um, so it gives us the best possible readings from that distance. So see, put a good move on it. Wow, there was a little bit of difference there. Yeah, a little huh. bit of difference there. Okay. So, got about a 10 yard difference there. Now, what do you think you hit there? Nah, I don't hit a one. I usually hit about 185. That yeah, six. So I stepped that on that. about right. Yep. Okay. Let's do it again. So now that's got 190, yeah. so it's picking up, a, giving a little bit more distance. Yeah. And I think I, it's, it feels like the Mevo is probably a little bit more accurate with the six iron right yeah, now. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. We'll see how I do. Yeah, I hit that a little thin there. So I okay. was, yeah. Okay. 
All right, Neil. So it's my turn to hit the uh, hit the six iron. So we'll see. I usually carry this really similar to you, 180, 185. 185. So we'll yep. see. We got both set up on mm -hmm. six iron. So we'll see uh, right at the target out there. Smidgen thin. 176, 182. All, All right, right. Pretty good readings there. Yeah, pretty close there. That's, so. that's about, you know, I wasn't that thin, just a touch, but a that touch. was still one, a good One hit. groove low as a professional, say, which I'm definitely, definitely not a professional. So try to get a good flyer lie there. You need a T? I wouldn't mind one. <laughs> I wouldn't mind one. All right. That well. was struck well. All right, so I, I would say I, I think the 179.4 because that floated that a little bit. It did float, so and it's hey, interesting one, to see. One thing to be cool too is to see the spin rate on that one because that one right there ballooned, and that's one of the ideas we liked about the flight scope was the spin rate. All right, so see how the drivers do. All right, Kyle, now on to the fun part of testing yeah, the driver. Me. Exactly. So I usually had this 250 to 260 in yep. the air. Uh, usually got speed of 103 to 106. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's see how they read. I was hit pretty well. Okay. Now that's interesting. So 280 on that, but 253. Now uh, I wonder if it's a little bit more accurate because of spin rate. I, I think the 253 is pretty accurate there. Yeah. So what I noticed too the other day when we did the indoor testing at the Mevo Flight Scope headquarters was my spin rate that it read was the same as I got on the Trackman when I got fit for these Callaway clubs. All right, and Trackman's what about twenty five thousand dollars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. That was really well hit. Yeah, I hit that a little thin. Which so, could add spin to it, yeah, which the Mevo does pick up. So it'd yeah. be interesting to see your spin rate. So Yeah, I thought that right. was pretty good. That is All really right. good. All right, Neil. Time for my uh, turn to hit the driver. So yeah. I carry this probably about 265 -ish. Yeah, 265 to 280, just a penny. Yeah, about, about uh, 109. Yeah, you has got a little a, a bit little, more speed. A little bit more mm -hmm. speed. I got a little weight on you, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm a I'm better eater. You're a better golfer. I'm a better eater. All right, let's see how this goes. Well hit. Huh. Huh. I mean, I hit that pretty well. I mean, a little, a little, a little high hit? in the club face. That could have been pretty, I, I, you know. I mean, who knows? Maybe just a lot of roll, so. All Again, right. that's kind of the cool thing about the Mevo, the spin rate. Yeah, I think that you know that that has a lot to do with it. A lot to do. So, all right, let me see if I can hit it in the middle of the club face. Now, it did my uh, swing speed was down a little bit, so mm -hmm. maybe I guess trying to be too smooth, but I think that's a good thing. That was hit. Now that's really interesting. Yeah, 109 swing speed. Smash factor was 1.46. So. Yeah, so it'd be interesting to see yeah. the spin on that. So. Okay. All right. All right, Kyle, that was a lot of fun. I, hope, of that, fun. I hope that helps you out. Uh, I want to go through, hey, both of these items, they give you carry distance mm -hmm. and with the rollout if you want to do that. And it gives yep. you launch angle, apex, peak, smash factor, you know, swing speed, ball speed. And I'd say that for the price point, my conclusion, I think your conclusion too, yeah. they're pretty darn accurate. They're, they're not, really accurate. For that price point, 500 bucks, compared to those, you know, 15 to 25,000, a, a lot of money. This this can really help you out. Now, the yes. one thing, in my opinion, that I like, and I think you like too, yep. is the Flight Scope Mevo, that spin rate. The spin rate is huge. It's because huge. In between shots here, I was looking at my spin rate with that driver, and it was up. Well, I noticed it the other day, and that's what I wanted to mention mm -hmm. to our audience was, you know, it was 34, 3500 on one of those at the place the other day. And with your swing speed being at 109, 110, you need to be around 2500, yeah. 2400, 2600. And that, that gives you the information you need. It really does. It's, I mean, uh, that's something we, we've been talking about. Maybe, maybe not the head's the problem. It could be the shaft. Yeah. It, it could be the shaft, but it's mm -hmm. worth noting. So that gives you that information. Because if you're out here without this, you're like, oh, that was smashed. You know, yeah, and that was. Okay, so let's go through the differences too. One thing I like about the Swing Caddy SC300 is just its functionality of setting it up behind you. You got the remote, yep. you plug it in, and it gives you your information right there. And the screen is the, nice. You don't have right to there. mess with your phone at yeah. all. You don't have to mess. You set no. it up, and you get that data right there. Right, right there, the and you can change the settings of the voice mm -hmm. if you want a little bit lower. Um, but let's talk about what I like about the, the Flight Scope Mevo. And you mentioned it to me the other day too. I mean, the app 
is very user friendly. It is. It's a really well done, well written, well uh, created app that's very easy. Uh, connects really quickly with the uh, flight scope. Um, I will say with the the Swing Caddy, that's their first version of that app. Okay. So again, the Mevo has been around for uh, just over a year. So again, mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting to see how the Swing Caddy progresses with their app and see if they can catch up to the Flight Scope. Because I would say the Flight Scope has the advantage in the app. In the app, and also one of the things that the Flight Scope Mevo does, it re it can record your swing, and you and for te I'm a teacher, so I can use lines, mm -hmm. circles. Um, and it gives your data also the ball speed, all the data we talked about just now mm -hmm. in the right hand corner. And I can send it via email, I can put it on Facebook, I can send it to their, I can text it to them. Yep. And it's easy. Very, Very easy. easy. So that's another thing with the flight scope we like with that function yep. of the app. Definitely. So, but well, the question now remains if you had to buy one over again, between the swing caddy and the flight scope. And again, we did purchase both these with money. We weren't paid to do this review. Exactly. Which one are you buying, Neil? I'm buying the flight scope Mevo. Uh, you know what? I'm buying the flight scope Mevo too. Okay. Just because of the app for me and and the, the ability to record your swing, yeah. I think that bumps it up. And and then the spin rate. The spin rate. And then for as a teacher, I can send that swing yep. with that data that everybody likes to them yep. that, that's pretty cool so all right i enjoyed it man so hey for more great blogs and vlogs please check out barnhillgolf.com